Hey folks, Dave the Bartender here with something a little bit different this time. It's the first time I'm doing a product review and these are from Anvil Industries. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff from them when I first got the stuff for my World Eaters and one of the products I picked up were these bases. So this is their Forge Ruin bases. Um, and this just gives you an idea of some of the variety which comes with it. Uh, for the 25mm bases, I've found that there's eight unique sculpts. Um, so it's incorporating some rubble, some sort of uh, textured cobblestones, as well as some, uh, some diamond tread plate, wires, uh, little fans and things like that. So it's got some really nice little detail. It's not really going to show up on this video here without the colour, uh, but I'll have some more for you. And this is an example of how the base arrives. It's in a black resin uh, with that textured base on the bottom, textured feel to the bottom of the base, and just with a little bit of flash, which isn't too hard to uh, to chip off and then file down to make the base smooth. Uh, one of the nice things about it, because it is a black. Uh, a black finish to the base, it means that when you undercoat, even if it chips off a little bit, you're still getting a black finish as opposed to a, a white or a light grey, uh, which is going to be a lot more a lot more beneficial in the long run, I think. So here's the five 40mm bases that I got from them, uh, fully painted up. Um, they're really quite nice and easy to paint. I've just done a black spray over top of the resin, and then uh, just a few different shades of dry brushing, uh, some ink washes and stuff just to bring out the detail and as you can see on this one here I've been using a little bit of the Forge World weathering powders just to give it that sort of rust effect um, and that's something I'm going to carry on with the other models uh, and other bases once I get finished off with the army so I still need to tidy up the edges you get a little bit of the detail coming across onto the beveled edge uh, which can be a little bit annoying um, but it's not too bad overall and one of the things I really like about this model is you can see the underneath here it's got a textured finish to it which uh, helps stop the model from sliding around especially on uh, flocked gaming as well as a few different styles of resin bases they also do a whole lot of upgrade and conversion parts as well as a range of uh, what they call steam knights which is sort of their version of a sort of science fiction uh, Roman army which has got some really cool parts which are really good for pre heresy so I've bought a few of these sort of Roman style shoulder potents um, which I've used on a couple of different models in my army and I really like how they um, how they come out they fit perfectly on uh, GW Space Marine arms and uh, just give that sort of champion uh, or character sort of uh, feel to it they've got a really nice range of cloaks um, they paint up really nice there's a little bit of uh, touch-up work which needs to be done on them just to remove the flash and things like that the one thing I have found with their resin is it is a little bit brittle compared to uh, the likes of the Forge World stuff so you just need to be careful when you're heating it up to reshape otherwise it can uh, crack off especially on the corners but it's uh, really easy to fix up with green stuff and as a base to work with uh, they're really great and then they've also got these uh, cool Roman tower shields, uh, which I haven't put in any of my uh, models yet, but uh, they're a nice good size, they've got some uh, reasonable detail on the front of them, and plenty of space to play around with sort of freehand designs. And one of my favourite parts from their range is these uh, little leather sort of skirts which they produce, uh, which are used in a lot of the uh, Horus Heresy artwork for pre-Heresy style models. Now what I've done here is I've just used some green stuff just to blend in the uh, leather to the actual sort of belt region of the model um, because otherwise it's just a little bit of a sharp join but I find them a lot easier to work with and they definitely fit a lot better than the GW ones uh, so they're a lot easier to uh, to convert your models with and I'm really happy with, uh, with so how they So here's just an example of uh, how the model look once you combine it with some Forge World parts um, to give a finished off uh, Space Marine. So this is one of my sergeants um, and as you can see I've used the uh, Anvil Industries cloak here on the back. Um, I had to do a little bit of reshaping because I broke off the corner when I was trying to uh, give it a bit more flow uh, heating it up but as you can see it's quite easy to just touch up uh, anything which breaks off uh, if you are unlucky and uh, the shoulders as I said they look quite nice and beefy. Here's just an um, example of one of the bases once they've been finished off and also on the cloak of the model as well this is one of the cloaks 
and I found it really easy to do the highlights and blends on the folds. Uh, they've got nice good working surfaces um, and they're not too clumped in together so you can get a nice good smooth blend on them. Um, and in the dealings I've had as a customer with uh, Anvil Industries, they've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, really good clear communication and, uh, and yeah, so I can't really recommend them enough as a company. Uh, their products are really great, they're great to deal with and yeah, keep an eye on their website. They've got some cool stuff coming out and especially if you're into uh, a more Roman style army, they've got some great helmets and, uh, and weapons and so on. And so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, be sure to check out Anvil Industries and I'll be bringing you some stuff again in the future. Cheers.